years that as I create, it is you who are creating through me. Therefore, I can make no mistakes. Aho Matakuyas. Flame on. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is just cut this tube pretty much in half into a point area. So I have something to work with later. Always start, roll your glass into the flame. Never just stick it straight down in the height or you'll crack it. Well, you'll take a chance of cracking it at least. Put it down, roll it into the flame. And then once you get in there, go ahead and get nice and close. You want to be bouncing back and forth so that you're heating up a larger section than just standing straight, still, and spinning. If you move back and forth, you'll be able to actually reach more of it. I'm also using angles to let the flame heat up more of the tube. While still focusing on one central spot. I'm slightly pressing together, just ever so slightly, so that you're actually getting a little bulge. That bulge is what I'll stretch into the point itself. Now the point is actually just a handle that allows us to work with it a little more easier. So it's more hand sized. Now at the end here, you always want to go a fourth of a turn with your hands and then pull. Fourth of a turn, pull, fourth of a turn, pull. That way it's stretching in each angle of the glass evenly. Now I'm going to use this open tube later for something else, so I'm going to cut it off at this end. That way I've got a handle on this side. open the end so you have something to work with later. Nice and open, smooth cut that so you don't cut your mouth. Okay, so we just did half this point here. Now we're going to finish you up. Flame. Now a lot of people want a handle on both sides. I personally only use a handle on one side. So that's my method. When you become a glass blower, or as you become a glass, better glass blower, you'll make your own mind up if you want two handles or one handle. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing we just did a few seconds ago. With the spinning and the evenly heating, the slightly pressing once it gets even, uh, more warmer. nice and warm and liquidy there, I'm going to stretch this out. Remember, one-fourth turn, one-fourth turn, pull, one-fourth turn, pull, one-fourth turn, pull, one-fourth turn, pull. That way it comes off nice and straight. 
you wanted a handle on each end, you would cut this, you would pull it longer and cut it in the middle here. But as I said, I only like one-sided. I'll just put that down there for a second. Cut this end open. You can also do a pull away method, which I might show you in another video. And make sure none of those no sharp ends, nice and round and ready for the next time you want to use it. Okay, and that's a full point right there. Stay tuned for the next sets in this series, and I'm going to show you how to silver this and turn it into a complete spoon pipe that you can do whatever with.